Okay guys, so I just wanted to really quickly jump on and show you um, a really simple inside bar strategy um, that has real potential and I think could really help some people out. So uh, I'm just going to cut away from here really quick and explain what an inside bar is first and then we'll come to the strategy. Just before we do that, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. We've got loads of videos coming thick and fast and you really won't want to miss them. And also, make sure that you comment below any topics that you want us to cover as we love seeing your suggestions. So what is an inside bar? Simply put, an inside bar is when one candle is unable to break out of the high or low of the previous candle, as you can see from this example here. Now this is a really great technical indicator because what it's saying to the trader is that price is in a period of consolidation, meaning that it can't decide whether it wants to go up or down or it can also indicate that say we were in an uptrend that buyers now are losing momentum losing control and we might be getting ready for a reversal or we might just be gathering up more buyers to continue the momentum and that's the crux of where this strategy comes in so that's a real quick introduction to what an inside bar is okay so back to this so what we want to do first, we're using, you, you want to choose um, a market that's going to be fast paced. So we're using uh, the Euro USD up here and we've got it on the hour chart. You can use it on any time frame, but I think on the lower time frames, you are probably more likely to get uh, whipsawed out of positions. I think the higher time frame you go, uh, the more reliable this strategy becomes. So what we want to do is we're going to come here to indicators. The first indicator we want to add is an inside bar. I have it saved in my script, but this is what we're looking for here. Um, so I'm going to click that. The redone doesn't matter, by the way. That's just because I've changed it a little bit and made it my own. But as you can see, what happens on the screen is any inside bar now changes color to its own unique color. So we've got a few of them right here. So that's the first indicator you want to put on. The next one, we want to put on an exponential uh, moving average. And we want to come in here and change the setting to 20, okay? The length to 20. I'm just going to change the color as well so it's a little bit easier to see. Right, so that's how we set up our indicators. Now, I'm just going to run this through and then I'll start explaining each um, step to this strategy. So, we're looking for, there we go, sorry, first one here. I overshot that a little bit. So we're looking for our first inside bar and we've got we've got an inside bar here now so that's great so that's step one have we had an inside bar yes tick the next thing then we want to look to is are we above or below the 20 period moving average okay so right now we're below it so now we're only looking for sell signals okay that's really important if it was above it we'd be looking for buy signals so now just because we're looking for sell signals, what we want to do is set our, we want to set a stop order, that's really, really important, a stop order, two pips below the low of this candle. So the low of this candle was uh, 45.5, so we want to be in at 43.5 roughly, somewhere around there. And we want to set our stop order there. Okay, now this goes um, to... Uh, pips above the high which was 66.3 so this wants to be 68.3 roughly again okay so that's where we're at right now this is our setup so this hasn't been triggered yet this is where it is now the first key rule to say is if price drives straight back up through um what would be our theoretical stop without um coming down and tagging us in, we remove the order. Okay, that's also really important. We get rid of the order. Basically, we just want to be getting in when the trend continues. So we'll carry on here now and see if we get, uh, oh, sorry, I should say, you can choose your own risk reward. Uh, I quite like two to one, um, but it depends what you're really looking for. So if we put a two to one stop order in, and then we just run it through, see if we get tagged, we haven't been tagged. Now we're tagged, so we're in this position now. And we'll just run it through. Okay, in it a while. Okay, there we go. And that's a winning position. Now, I know you can see we've had other inside bars here as we go. If you're in a position, do not take another position, if that makes sense. So as long as you're in one, ignore any other signals. Now that we're out, let's start looking again 
for another signal. So if we just keep running through, wait till we see an inside bar. Okay, so we've got an inside bar now. Let's uh, repeat the process. So we go two points below the low of this, the low of this 22, so roughly around uh, 520, which is there. Two points above the high, so the high is, if you don't know, sorry guys, the high, each candle, you come to the top here, it has the high, the low, the close, etc. So the high of this is 44.5, so we're looking for 46.5, which is roughly around, roughly around there. That's, you know, close enough. So then we want a two to one risk reward and let's see how this plays out. Run through. Okay, and it looks like we've had another win there. Okay, brilliant. So obviously important to note with this strategy that because we're using a two to one risk reward ratio, um, you're looking, you know, if you get anything around a 50% win rate, that's superb. Um, go ahead, back test it and have a look at it. Uh, we'll jump across real quickly now and have a look at a uh, at some long setups. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to let us know in the comments and like the videos. It goes a long way to helping us grow as a channel. Okay, so let's take a look at a uh, couple of long positions then. So if we just run it through, uh, this would be, I think I misspoke earlier, this would be, um, this would have been invalid anyway because we're not looking for it to break where the stop would be, I should say. We're looking for it to break the low. So if price comes down and breaks the low before, it triggers your trade in, um, you, you cancel the order, you pull the order, okay? That's an important clarification I should make at this point. So let's take a look. Let's run it through and take a look now for an inside bar. Okay, so we've got one just here. Giving you some clues away there. So we've got an inside bar, so that's first tick. Second tick, are we above the 20 period moving average? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's get an order on there. Two points above, we've got a high of 99, so we're looking for 21.9 roughly, around there, and then two points below the low, which is uh, 95.4. So roughly around there. And then we want a two to one risk reward ratio, so we're up here. Right, so we're around about there. Now let's run it through. So we're triggered in, push up, keep pushing up, and there we go. So that's our first win there, okay? So we've had a win there. Now the trade's closed so we can start looking for next opportunities and we get another opportunity straight away. So we would put high of 91.8, so 93.8 roughly, somewhere around there. Low of 68.9, so 66.9, we're in somewhere around there okay and then two to one risk reward we're up here right up here okay perfect now let's run it through see how we get on okay we had a great push out the gates and yeah there we go within two candles and you see this quite often with this strategy because it is momentum based and um, when you get triggered in it does often push up so we've had two wins let's carry on now let's look for some more opportunities quite an obvious inside bar here so let's set it up again high of 49 to 51.5 and low of 27.2 so 25.2 roughly somewhere around there and then a 2 to 1 risk reward we're up here and then let's play it through okay so this is a good example now so this would now be invalid not I don't know if it quite made the touch of the stop where it would, where the theoretical stop would have been, but we've broken the low of this inside bar candle, so now we're no longer interested. We pull the order, that is gone, okay? So that's really important, and we start looking for more inside bar opportunities, okay? So there we are, we're here now, we've got another one to set up, so we've got a high of 43, 45, 7. So as you can see as well, we get plenty of opportunities with this strategy, even on the hour time frame. Uh, low of 27, so 25, 7, roughly around there, and then 2 to 1. Okay, so here's another setup. See if we get triggered in. Okay, so we're triggered in. We're here to run now. Let's have a look how it goes, and then we're taken straight out. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So we've had. Nice win, 2%, 2%, 1%. That's 3% made just in that run there. And they come thick and fast. Um, so make sure that 
you take this away now, back test it, can definitely be refined a little bit, but for certainly for beginner traders, I think it's a really great strategy that can be worked in some really good shape. Um, and you definitely want to, you definitely want to get involved with it. So have a look at it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please show us support by hitting the thumbs up, subscribing to our channel and ringing that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future releases. And also remember to leave your comments below. As well as this, make sure you head over to our website where we have great information about our other projects, including our signal service, where we provide all of our results over there. So make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.